In this video, we'll look at the process of customizing DB Blog Extras modules to give them a different look and feel. So apart from the seven available layouts, we have added a couple of more sample implementation that could be used on your website. So here is the page and let's try to use any of these. First, we see the grid extended layouts and um, let's take an example and try to apply layout number four. So layout four need to be applied using custom CSS and you could scroll down the CSS area on the page and this is what we need here. So I'm copying it and as you can see we have GE4 this is the name of the class that we'll be using. On the DV theme builder or on the page wherever you're trying to use the module you could follow these process uh, where we'll add the class name and the CSS. So let's build from scratch. blog extras and we are going to use the grid extended layout we have the class name to add here that is uh, GE4 and finally we need to apply the custom CSS that was copied so I just pasted it and now if I go back to the blog page and try to reload the page this is how it looks so this was one layout layout that we just implemented we could do uh, the same for the other layouts. Some of the layouts uh, might not require custom CSS. For example, uh, some of these are very uh, basic layouts where we have uh, eliminated some of the elements. We have not used some of the elements. For example, date here is not used in the full width background, uh, full width layout. So you could uh, achieve them without CSS as well. So let's try to get this off. Uh, Perhaps one at the bottom, this one. This is the layout number nine, and this is for full width background. So we'll go and pick the code for this. Okay, we have full width background. Here goes the CSS. So I'm copying it and I'll delete the previous one and paste it here. As you can see, we have not just one custom CSS class used here, we have FWB. So it represents full width background 9, and then S is for section, R is for row. So we need to add this class to the section, this to the row where this module is used and then fwb9, this will be name of the, this would be the class for the actual dblog extras module we are using for the background. So let's try to implement this. I'm going to design first. I'll pick up the full width background um, layout and then I'll go and add my CSS class, which is full width background 9. So that was the first thing that we need to do. And I'm just moving back to the wireframe mode so that I can apply classes here. All right, so I'm going to edit this. This is the section, and we need to add class here. So this was the class used in the section and then this is the class that we need to use for the row. So that was all. Um, we might need to make a little arrangements here. In this case, it looks like we'll have to specify the sizing here. So let's make it 100% so that it goes from edge to edge. And uh, if we go back and reload the page, the result would be there. So this is how it looks. And uh, this was one implementation. We'll try to uh, implement one more layout uh, from these available implementations. And this time let's pick this one. Box extended and the layout 2. 
so box extended layout 2 I'm going to get the CSS from here okay box extended layout 2 the code is copied and first I'll go and paste the code here you could do this on your DV theme panel as well if you like to apply this as a global design global layout so it will replace the default look and feel in this case we're just trying to keep it on the page so this CSS is added on the page all right so that was all I've saved it and go back to the DV blog extras module settings and I'll pick my layout which is box extended and this was the box extended layout 2 so the name of the class is sorry be2 there we are as you can see here the excerpt length is uh, something that need to be defined here as well the default excerpt length I want uh, fit here uh, for example let's take a quick look all right so this is how it looks now we'll try to make the excerpt a little more uh, longer so that will be around 650 characters letters yes so let's reload the page again and here it is we'll go back to the page and that was the layout which we just uh, tried in the mint and here it is so this is uh, the way you could try and implement the additional available layouts uh, that we have added on our demo site and achieve more than 40 customized layouts these were created when we had uh, just six layouts in DB blog extras now we have masonry so we'll be adding more layouts and you could use the CSS and the classes in the same manner to achieve a beautiful blog page as per your preference thank you so much for your time